Me didi papa wabu ase. Aha ya kona ba televisyon. Mesre mo. Se mbe like. Mo be she. Na mo miya adoban sama ye. Se nabe e kona ba tina sepe. O bad life wana mo hon. Piyao. So for a woman you are that screen. So this woman is saying. Um, I think he's one of um, uh, T.B. Joshua's um, daughter. I mean. Spiritual daughter. I don't know. He has a comment or he has a message. She want to pass across to the media houses. The bloggers. Those speaking on um, the expose from BBC concerning TB Joshua, I think he's a Ghanaian too because I check on the profile and I've seen that uh, she has a church in Ghana. Yeah, so I think uh, she is in Ghana and she's a Ghanaian. I don't know whether he's a Nigerian based in Ghana or Ghanaian with um, the Emmanuel TV kind of thing. I don't know. Anyway, he has something to say. I just wanted to listen to what she has to say. My name is Prophet Josephine Ampofo. A lot has been going on for some time now. Okay, so for those of you who are saying T.B. Joshua is not alive to defend himself, bear in mind that um, the defensive, I mean, tactics is going on. The wife is defending, the spiritual children are defending, those who want to defend T.B. Joshua are defending. So whether the man is alive or not, they are still defending going on. And some of them also are saying the man is dead already, so why are we still talking about this man? Uh, do you guys remember Adolf Hitler? Adolf Hitler is way, I mean, dead, gone, 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 gone. But still, we talk about Adolf Hitler. Jesus himself is dead, gone. But we still talk about Jesus Christ. I remember my good friend, uh, Ajagreja, once said that Jesus has, um, a ch uh, has children in Spain. And Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene without any Bible, biblical um, backing what he said. And then people believe it, that Jesus was married to uh, Mary Mother, according to the Bible, where is the Bible verse, or where in the Bible did Jesus got married to um, Mary Mother? But Jesus is not here to defend himself. You understand? So uh, we cannot say T.B. Joshua is not alive, so he cannot defend himself. There are disciples still who are still alive. I mean, the wife is there, the spiritual children, they are there, they are defending. And whatever he did, whether good or bad, we have to discuss about it. J.J. Rollins is dead, we're gone. But we still talk about J.J. Rollins. You know, um, Atamis is gone, but we talk about Atamis. Um, Kwame Nkrumah is gone, we talk about the Kwame Nkrumah, you know. So it depends on what you do on earth, you understand. And this is the reason why the news is trending. It's trending because it came from a big platform, BBC. Uh, this news has been in the system for too long. BC Ola has been talking about this thing from 2010 or so, or so I don't know, to date, you understand. But people did not pay attention to that because it was not speaking on a big platform. Now that she got a big platform to express herself on what happened at um, TB Joshua's end, that is why this thing has exploded to be like, hey, this is happening. Why, why now? Why now? It's been in the system for too way long. But it's been on BBC platform. That's why it feel like, I mean, it's a new thing. But it's not a new thing. It's an old story, you know. So uh, the spiritual child is here to defend and then um, to talk about bloggers, media houses, talking about TB Joshua issue i just want to listen to what she has to say and i know that my face is not new to some of you because you, you i'm sure you have seen me in series of videos i am here to advise and to give a form of warning to the people who are speaking ill and spreading ill news about prophet tb joshua Someone will ask me, are you a spokesperson to T.B. Joshua? No, I'm not a spokesperson. But I've known him. I've tested his grace. And as a woman of God... Okay, so the woman is saying he knows T.B. Joshua, he has tested his grace, and he is speaking from his uh, her, her own experience, okay? Now, people were asking, what are the evidence uh, circulating, or what are the evidence backing what these allegations uh, Bisola and others are making on TV Joshua by the way, blah blah blah. You know, what I have to say is if this woman is saying he has experienced some spiritual whatever with TV Joshua, did he or did she bring any evidence to what she's saying? There's no evidence to back what she's saying. She's just going to speak and she thinks what she's saying is spiritual, but people must believe what she is saying. Do you understand? So if Bisola and others are out saying TB Joshua raped them, did this to them, they are the evidence. I don't know, or I don't know how we can do this. If somebody's raping you and will ask you, put a phone here, record, 
after take your recording and keep it for future reference i don't know how we do this but they are asking for evidence of the allegations how do you get evidence from a rape how do you get evidence from torture how do you get evidence from abortion i don't know how we do this but anyway these are some of the questions people are asking and what this lady is going to say is spiritual she got the encounter without evidence but she want us to believe it okay whatever i come here to say i do not come by my own i am pushed by the holy spirit to speak okay you see she did not come on her own she's pushed by the holy spirit to speak no evidence what is your evidence you understand so why are you asking evidence from the uh, victims if what you are saying you don't have evidence to it or do you have evidence of, of the holy spirit pushing you you can add it to your video then you watch the holy spirit pushing you to go speak so i'm not talking as a spokesperson to tb joshua but i'm speaking as a woman of god whatever you may be watching me from anyway everybody is a woman of god everybody is a woman of man or everybody is a man of god because we were all born by god we, uh, we are all breathed in by the spirit of god you understand there's nobody on this earth who was created or who was born by a good there's nobody like i'm a woman of good i'm a man of good i'm a man of monkey we are all man of god or man of woman or woman of god or whatever we are all the same okay i want to talk to first of all to the bloggers as for bbc they have done their things already but some bloggers have seen this as business and they have captured it in a mockery way to attract views, to attract followers. I want you to know that it is not everything we take as a joke. The person they are talking about is a man of God. Who is a man of good? That is what I want to know. If you know somebody who is a man of good, you can just mention that. I am not a man of good. I am a man of God. Everybody is a man of God. You understand? That title... Uh, everybody is putting on himself like I am a man of God. This is a man of God. This is a woman of God. You know, and because of that, he's so special. You know, we are all man of God. Man of, I mean, woman of God. Nobody is a man of good or man of chicken or man of uh, cow or whatever. We are all man of God. It's not just a man of God. You see, this is an anointed man of God. You see, as you have made it as a business. I see some comedian write what TB Joshua did to me, and when you watch it, they are just making mockery of the issue. Your family is not good. Your house is not good. Your father's house is not good. Your mother's house is not good. So you see, the problem is um, when this so-called man of God does things on earth, and when they are alive, and you speak about it, people will be like, why are you disturbing or why are you attacking the man of God? If they are alive, you speak about it, it's a problem. If they, they are dead, you speak about it, it's a problem. Because the special title on them, man of God, because of that title, you don't have a right to even criticize them. You don't have a right to even talk about them. You understand? It's because of that perception that this is a man of God. You don't have a right to even talk about this man of God. You don't have a right to criticize this man of God because he's a man of God. He's too special. You understand? So when he or she is alive, you don't have a right to talk about him or her when he did or he does something wrong. And when he or she is dead, the same thing applies. I think these people are really enjoying. I don't know. They are cares for you to break. You have not broken them yet. You have not even started breaking. You want to act. So this is how they do it. Um, when they, they start or when they want to defend their spiritual father, they will start with curses. You know, they, they first have to put fear in you so that you be afraid. You'll be like, hey, he's cursing us. He's saying something that's dangerous, you know. So they will start with curses. They will start with fear so that you will be afraid not to even speak about this whole issue because of the fear they will put in you. Okay. Curse to your family curse. Mm -hmm. It is not everything that is allowed that you should do. I'm giving you advice and as a form of warning. And to those who are happy about the news and they are taking it like World Cup, spreading it and say it's true, it's true, it's true. TV show is evil, TV show is evil. Africa, we, we, we celebrate bad news. Africa, we hail bad news. Mm -hmm. Africa, we are happy when somebody is down. That is the sickness of Africa. 
But I want you to know, you have listened to BBC. You have watched that their so-called expose with no evidence. You see, with no evidence. But when this woman was speaking, the first beginning, he said, um, she said, uh, the Holy Spirit or God asked her to come and then speak on this issue without evidence. But now, as I speak, she is asking for evidence of a rape, evidence of a torture, evidence of um, manipulation, evidence of um, abortion. She is asking evidence of that claim. Okay. Some people were bribed to speak against the prophets. Mm -hmm. And you have also carried it. He said some people were bribed to speak against the prophet. She didn't bring any evidence. You understand? So she just spoke. Some people were bribed to speak against the prophet. Where is your evidence? But she's asking for evidence. Okay. Spreading it. And happy about it. You are causing yourself harm. <laughs> More than any harm. Nobody is happy about what is happening. People are sharing these videos as a sign of making people to be aware of what is happening or what is on ground. Because as I speak, they go to church in, uh, I think, Spinters. And some Ghanaians will just take shower from home straight to the church. Nobody is there to preach to them. They are on television watching the TV. <laughs> and they will, they will pay money and they will go home. You know, Instead for them to look God for themselves. Because it's in the Bible that says, build your own personal relationship with God. But it's like people are building their own personal relationship with their pastors or their spiritual fathers. I don't know the biblical um, understanding of this whole thing. If there's a biblical verse backing this spiritual father, spiritual mother, then you can also add it to the comment section. I'm, I'm just asking the questions anyways. And I don't know who you are to speak against Prophet T.B. Joshua. But you said she doesn't know who you are to speak against Prophet T.B. Joshua. Nobody is speaking against Prophet T.B. Joshua. They are reacting to the videos already in the public domain. But who are you to even warn bloggers? Who are you? You understand? Who are you to even warn bloggers? Who are you? I don't know. You have watched BBC News and you carry it on your mouth. Talking about it here and there, happy celebrating it. People are talking about it because Jesus is dead, but still we talk about Jesus Christ. If you don't want to talk about the dead, why do you talk about Moses? Why do you talk about um, David? Why do you talk about uh, Abraham? Why do you talk about Adam, Eve, Jesus, uh, Paul? They are dead. They are no more on earth as we speak. So why are you talking about the dead? It means we have the right to even criticize the dead. I think there's a law. Mahabab said this uh, on the show, I think yesterday, that... Um, uh, somebody might or somebody did something the person died they, they took up the corpse and then they took the corpse to the to the to the court and then put a judgment on the on the body as a, you know so if you do, you do good or you do bad based on what you do you, they will talk about it you know whether you are dead or alive people will talk about it like adolf hitler we still talk about adolf hitler even tupac aminu shako as i speak they are doing investigations on who killed tupac aminu shako you understand so there's nothing like uh, crime has an expiring date. Crime has no expiring date. People can talk about anything anytime. You understand? And BBC did not ask Bisola and others to come and then testify. They rather went to them with their issue. And then they said, okay, let's do investigation and see whether what you're saying is true or not. You understand? BBC is like a police station. It's like me sitting here. Somebody will call me and will be like, oh, I want to share my views on this. Uh, this thing happens to me, this thing happens to me. And I say, okay, let's talk about this one. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like I am the one searching for issues. People will come with their issues and then we all discuss about it. So they are not making fun of TB Joshua, but they are rather talking about TB Joshua based on the issues circulating on the social media or in the public domain. You, your father in the village, I saw people land. Your father in the village. He you see, you, your father in the village has so people land. Your father in the village. There's no evidence. So whatever this woman said from head to toe, no evidence. But she is rather asking for evidence. You understand? Okay. I saw people not take and kill the people. You are still burying your father's son. Mm -hmm. you are, your mother has taken somebody's husband. Okay, you see. Has given birth to different uh, children. You see. 
No evidence. You are still calling her mother. Mm -hmm. Prophet Peter Joshua is a man who took care of the poor. Okay. He took care of the widows. He took care. Jesus even fed, I think, 10,000 or 100,000, I don't know, with uh, fish and bread. Jesus. But still, they crucified Jesus Christ. <laughs> you understand? So, you are nobody that you can say nobody should talk about you. They will talk about you. You understand? My mother died, I think, 2000. The year 2000. 2023, somebody made a video. In the video, the person said, you took money from us and you give it to your mother to build a house. Without evidence. People believe it. So, who are you not to be talk about? You understand? Of orphans. This is the man who has given scholarship to nobodies to go to school in abroad. Mm -hmm. This is the man who has made name. Okay, so because of the good things he did, nobody should talk about him. Okay. All over the world. So, are you saying Adolf Hitler was not, I mean, that good? He never did any good? He did something good, but we are talking about what the tragic, I mean, incident that happened when Adolf Hitler was, I mean, doing his own thing. And they have brought something nasty about him. They are putting it on your head. Your family house in the village, there is no light. While your mother sleep, rain is falling in the bedroom. And you are celebrating bad news about the man of God like this. She is hungry and then she is mad speaking on this issue because she is also a prophetess. And because of that, she knew very well that if anything happens, she's going down. That's why she's voicing out. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> Africa, when will you celebrate your own? Mm -hmm. A white man sit down and do something like iPhone and bring it to Africa. You use all your life saving to buy iPhone. You don't have a room. You can't pay a single room, South Korea, but you use the money to buy iPhone. So as a prophetess, when you went to the prophet or when you went to the spiritual realm as a prophetess, what kind of invention did you bring? You yourself. Yeah, when you went to the spiritual world to see the spirit, whatever, and you came back on earth, what, what are the inventions you brought on earth? You yourself. Because you are talking about a white man uh, creating phone, ice phone, whatever. You yourself as a prophetess. What inventions did you bring on earth that we can testify, we can go to the shop and say, ah, this was, this was an invention from this uh, uh, prophetess. What are the inventions you, you yourself you, you brought on it. Okay, let's see, let's see. What is good God has given us in Africa, you will not celebrate it. Who any of you can come out and say the good thing this man has done? Look at the number of people this man has healed. If not for Prophet, prophet T.B. Joshua, a lot of graves would have been counted in the cemetery. Okay. Do you know how many people were supposed to die and through his hand, God has saved people? I, I, am, I am sometimes, I feel so amazed when I see Christians afraid to die. Because this is in the Bible that um, death is a, is a prophet to a Christian. So when you die, you're supposed to be happy because you are going to your father. So why are you afraid to die? They always prophesy to you, you are going to die, you are going to die, and then you are free to die. Die and go to heaven. What's wrong? <laughs> you understand? Because it says in the Bible that in all things we should give thanks to the almighty God. So when you die, you must even thank God I'm dead. So stop putting fear in people with death. You are going to die, you are going to die, you are going to die. You understand? Because death is supposed to be a prophet of a believer. Do you know how many people, how many widows that Prophet Joshua, God used him to put smile on their faces? If not, they... He did well. Prophet Joshua did well. You understand? Because I, I know a lot of videos from Prophet T.B. Joshua. Uh, he was giving donations to people, you know. Uh, just a lot of things, yeah. He did well, yeah. He yeah. would have committed suicide. Do you know how many prostitutes that God brought from the road to the kingdom of God through Prophet T.B. Joshua? Do you know how many men and women of God God is still using through the impartation of Prophet T.B. Joshua? What have you achieved? You yourself, what have you achieved? What have you achieved? You yourself. We want to see your achievement. Have you created any machinery with your so-called spiritual things? Because the white people when they go into the spiritual realm whether they see this the devil or they see the the good 
they bring something on earth like iPhones, they make machines, they make cars, they make a whole lot of things that you can see it physically, can touch it. So what have you as a prophetess achieved? We are just asking a question anyways. What legacy did your love father leave for you? Debt. Debt. But you are talking about Prophet T.B. Joshua. Because BBC brought news, so you must also talk. Madam, think about yourself. There is nothing to celebrate about. Because the man has left legacy. And nobody can change it. Nobody can prove ill about Prophet T.B. Joshua. There are cases to break. Don't increase your case. But this, this is what, what I'm talking about. They always put fear, 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 fear. Make your statement. Make your comment. Express your views. These are your views. It's not supposed to be understood by anybody. I can choose not to understand you. I can choose to disagree with you. I can choose to agree with you. Stop putting fear in your messages. These are the kind of things I hate. Because these so-called men of God, they always put fear in people. God will do the day. This will happen to you because of this, you know. Stop putting the fear in people. Add them to what evil people are doing. Because there is nothing you do to the prophet of God that you don't go unpunished. It's a touch no anointing. And do my prophet no harm. These are the, the, the Bible verse they use. I know a pastor in Ghana uh his case was brought to a television station they called this man and they said talk to talk to, uh, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm and do you know why the lady was there saying this pastor ripped me in his office the pastor admitted it but before uh, before he quoted that touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm the lady said the pastor used her i mean a dick you know put in the anointing oil straight to the ladies you know punani and then the lady was pregnant later he asked the lady to do abortion blah 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 and instead for the pastor to admit and then do something about the situation at hand he said touch not my anointed and do my prophet know how <laughs> it is true you are anointed it is true everybody every child of god is anointed yeah but he remember he said do my prophet know him you are not a prophet you you are not a prophetess you you are not a prophet there's no prophet anywhere everybody that sleeps and dream you know when you sleep you dream or you have vision in your in your dream you are a prophet you are not a prophet you you are nowhere close to elijah you are no who we, 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 you are nowhere close to 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 uh, ezekiel to uh, i don't know all the prophets in the bible you are nowhere close to them stop putting this fear the panic in people. Stop that. And preach the gospel, the salvation. Stop this miracle, miracle things. Because the Bible said, Seek ye the kingdom and eat righteousness first, and the rest shall be added unto you. But you are making people to seek the righteousness, uh, the, 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 the rest, without seeking for the, the righteousness. Instead for them to be seeking for the righteousness and the rest to be added unto them, they are rather seeking for the, the, the rest, not the righteousness. Preach the gospel. That's no my anointing and do my prophet know her. The anointing includes you, it includes the prophet. He said, That's not my anointing. He said, Do my prophet know her. I don't know why you became God judge. I don't know why God gave you his throne to sit on his throne to judge people. Nobody is judging anybody. It's in the Bible according to Philippians. Eh? I can I think according to Philippians chapter 11, verse 15. He gave us the, 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 the authority, according to Philippians, he gave us the authority to expose. You understand? Think, uh, let me check if I can see the Bible verse. I don't want to make a mistake. He said, um, um, Corinthians, sorry, Corinthians. Yes. Corinthians, I want to give you the Bible verse. Corinthians, uh, wait, wait, please wait for me. He uh, said, expose them. Eh? Expose them. Expose them, Bible verse. Expose them, Bible verse. In the, I'm checking on my computer now. It's Philippians chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. Eh? Sorry, it's Ephesians. 
efficiency. I want to put it on the screen so you can read it by yourself. You know, so yeah, nobody's judging anybody, but according to efficiency, you understand, according to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 14, it has given us the authority, you understand, to speak on cases like this. Look, I'm putting the Bible verse here. Check on, the, on your screen. You see, this is the Bible verse. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 14. Was it take no part in the worthless deeds of evil and darkness? Instead, expose them. It is a shameful even to talk about the things that ungodly people do in secret. But their evil intentions will be exposed when the light shines on them. For the light makes everything visible. So, Ephesians has given Christians an authority to expose. You understand? So, nobody is making mockery of the pastor or nobody is judging the pastor. But based on Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11 to 14, we have the right to expose the evil deeds of people. You understand? Anyway, let's listen to uh, this madam. In your family house, there's nothing to, to talk about. There's nothing to ro uh, write home about. But you're still carrying your father's son in. Your father was a drunkard. He took people's money by force. He saw people land. But you are still having his sign name. That you are blogging Prophet Yoshua. Somebody who went and make name in Israel. Somebody who gave money to presents. Somebody who have helped the poor. When they are talking, you are also talking. Master, focus on your life. Madam, focus on your life. Nobody anointed TB Joshua. It's God who anointed him. So nobody can use his mouth. And the people who call themselves investigators or the media. And they're saying they're investigating people like T.B. Joshua. I am surprised at you. Because are, you are a lazy investigator. You are a very lazy investigator. If you want to invest cases, go investigate the government. Why are people finish investing and they're not getting job? Because of you, that is why people finish university, they are not getting jobs. You are in Ghana, as I speak, this woman, you are in Ghana. Every corner you pass... There's a lot of churches in Ghana. A lot of churches. Instead for you to be building factories, you are building churches. So if the person finishes university, it's either he becomes a criminal in a pastoral in a pastoral job or he be on the street. Because of you, that is why there's no jobs in Ghana. You are supposed to use the church money to create jobs for your own members. You are not doing all this. It's because of you that is why people are not getting jobs to do. It's because of you that's why people are on the street. It's because of you that's the gov that's why the government is failing. If it's because of you that is why people are not thinking straight. They are always thinking, "I am going to this place. I am going to this place." Instead of for them to think physical and know what is wrong on earth, they are thinking spiritual. It's because of you. Qualified and they are in offices they are not supposed to occupy, and the poor are suffering. Okay, so people who are not qualifying their offices they are not supposed to occupy. Have you seen um, a fetish priest in a bank before? Have you seen a fetish priest in the parliament of Ghana before? Have you seen a, a fetish priest who is a road contractor before? Have you seen a fetish priest who is selling food on the road before? They are all Christians and Muslims. You, the same religious people, are the same people corrupting the system. Go investigate them. Go and investigate why we have oil in Africa, but cannot produce for Africa. Yes. Why we have oil in Africa, but not produce for Africa. If this oil were, so, uh, were found in, let's say, U.S. or I don't know, anywhere, the white people will go straight into the spiritual realm, contact their spiritual whatever, and make use of this oil, gold, whatever. But you people, you go to the spiritual world, and then you come back on earth, start prophesying, this one is going to die. You are wearing a blue pant. You are wearing a red pant. This one will die. This one will die. Instead for you to go to the spiritual world and ask the spirit what you're supposed to use the oil or the resources for, you go into the spiritual world, come on earth, and give us uh, useless prophecies. So you are the cause. Because people finish university, as I speak now, they don't even know how to make a toothpaste. <laughs> you understand? So who are you talking to, me or you? Go and investigate why we have oil in Nigeria, 
are. We have oil in Ghana, but every day we have to do some light off. Go and investigate. You have not finished investigating these people. And an innocent man of God that God used to bless the world, that God used mightily in the lives of people, who is dead and gone. You are investigating a dead man and you call yourself investigator? Okay. I am surprised and I'm so disappointed. BBC, work on yourself. Because so you there are see, a lot of better He said there is investigating the dead man. I made a reference to Tupac Aminu Shako. Tupac Aminu Shako is dead. They are still investigating who killed Tupac Aminu Shako. You understand? Uh, Adolf Hitler is, is dead a long time ago. They are still talking. You know, it's not about investigating the dead. It's about investigating the dead with the issues circulating or issues uh, the, the dead has found himself into. <laughs> That's the whole issue. And they are not just speaking. They are speaking based on people who have uh, evidence or people who are victims. They are speaking themselves. You understand? So you should not be attacking BBC, but rather go to those victims and listen to what they are saying as a woman. Your, your fellow woman is describing this issue that this man did this to me. Put it in your own shoes and then manipulate or meditate on it and see how you will feel. It's for you to investigate. You have investigated TB Joshua. Why are there evil things happening? Have you investigated why we pay taxes our road I still have a potholes? Okay. You as a woman of God, as you see, as you claim, uh, you said we are prophetess. I know you are in Ghana because I check your profile. Uh, what are the taxes you you pay on your material items you sell in church? What are the taxes? Is it satisfied by the, the food and dress board? Even the church in Spinters that belongs to TB Joshua, the length and breadth of this church is way too big. You know what I'm saying? So on the road, people park on the road from head to toe with cars. I think the government should start charging uh, these cars, start taking money from these cars because they are, they are just occupying the roads free of charge just because they want to go and listen to the word of God. You understand? So people must be charged. I mean, the cars should be charged. They should tax the cars. Every hour, they have an amount to take. I know by the time they finish with all this, by the end of the month, they will get some amount of money from just the TV Joshua people who are going to the church to worship or to watch television. They will get some amount from that cars to fill the potholes. So I think the government should talk to the road minister to take action on that as sprinters. They park on the road, both sides, left, right, full occupied. And then there's a huge traffic because of that. So the government must charge these cars parking on the road when they are going to watch television at the TV Joshua Church in Spinters. I think they should start charging them. Do you know how much traffic costs lateness in Africa? You see, this is what I was talking about, the traffic issue. You see, she just mentioned traffic. They create traffic in Spinters. They create, they create it. They put cars on the road. And then when you have something to do very busy, you cannot even go because of the cars are parked on the road. Delaying the nations. You see? Have you investigated why an old man who is dying can be sleeping in a meeting mm -hmm. has been pushed into the office of presence by force? Have you investigated that? Mm -hmm. You see? But you are investigating anointed men of God. And Christians are buying it. And they are celebrating it. Christians. When will you celebrate Christ? When will you stand for the kingdom of God? You are fighting for a pastor. You are not fighting for God. You are not fighting for Jesus Christ. You are a spiritual child. You are fighting for your spiritual father. You, this woman. You understand? BBC did not investigate. Just wake up one day and say, let's go and investigate TB Joshua. They investigated TB Joshua based on the evidence brought to them by the victims. It is not your pastor the person is evil when it's your pastor is innocent so you see you are fighting for your pastor i want the evil the evil that will raise the dead the evil that will heal the sick the evil that will do good to the orphans to the poor the evil that will lead people to christ the evil that will Take somebody from the world to the kingdom of God. You call it evil. Okay, so now, uh, this woman, according to his video, I've watched the video from Mami, the whole length. 
what she is trying to say is people should stop talking about the dead and also bbc should just do investigations on the government and also fix issues instead of talking about the dead as i said i have a friend called ajagreja he made a comment in his video saying that jesus christ um, was married to mary madeline and jesus has children in spain no evidence people believed it jesus is dead they are still talking about jesus christ paul is dead they are talking about paul a whole lot of scriptures i mean the those in the scriptures they are dead they, are still, they still talk about them there's nothing wrong with talking about somebody who is dead at the end of the day people just want to create awareness so that people who are still under the captives of this so-called man of god in the system like this woman who feel that for me not being close to this man of god i'm dead if i don't go to church i'm dead you know this kind of fear that they're putting into them these are just awareness for people to know and then take god as their own personal or build their god uh, i mean create see god for themselves know god for themselves and build god i mean build their own personal relationship with god instead of building god their personal relationship with god they are rather worshiping their pastor through <laughs> before they can see jesus or whatever you know what i'm saying so this is just an awareness it's not any attack on any christianity it's not i mean here to damage any christianity this has nothing to do with christianity there is a name mentioned here and this name mentioned here is nowhere to be found now they said he's dead so he cannot defend himself that is why you are dead defending the pastor the wife is defending the children are defending the spiritual children are defending so in one way or the other there is still a defensive uh, uh, mechanism going on you understand so for me i believe whatever these ladies are saying they went there and they said they are victims what can you do so far as you can say god called me and said this blah 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 without evidence they are saying this without evidence what can you do you just need to be focused and be vigilant on what to do my name is akona but this is my views you can also add your views thank you for watching hello ebusian for so a person features right show the for the and then not found what dom is unique laser whitening Unique laser whitening, I will toothpaste from Kwan. So, what did you choose? Say, I'm not seeing a year fitter. Now, a year fitter, no, so no. No, a G and Carboni beer were no more beer. Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains, see beer were no more beer. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every summer, come on, come on. The only answer, say, Uber to so. Now, would you go or brush and so? Oh, we are now the two two was sinners when you come on. Oh, yeah. And who are new gen when you into contact unique laser whitening at was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero unique laser whitening or say muni says Penny for se be we are sent in da ni atupnu na ne papa ne fonti e wo se o mo bambo hu hia na ne papa mu die pro technologies and na make am for ma wo ane pro technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of cctv cameras yes on esa install cctv cameras in the saw gun and nasa brochet na ofi o gun na person e cctv camera installation we need pro technologies and in saw so we use cctv camera installation electric fence automated gate access control video door Bell and our intercom and our satellite TV home theater so we pay biato and our to and our person install them out pro technologies and our software here now shining so so you feel the name for America but you may in this and papa now pedia man you know none of us to that form make sure you know the web but you may have any a branch and we're gonna you need more brow over and to seek a fire and some safe and you get for them our gunner or dad da na ni etene se yesa general construction so we brochure na peso si fi organa e dan plan bi o peso si se wa sha si dada ana afi na peso si plan bi a ye be si ama e no echi so ye solar power ana bamba ho sensem bi a de woni ye ni sa wo so ni esa so ye smart home a be fu fi de bi a peso si she e wo fi ana wa twum ho de ma wo woni ye ni sa wo so we are just a call away ni esa so wa dan de ma han ana ofre brochure be du gana na wo pe fu house room ana apartment a han for 
short term and a long term. You be more biyani boda form. Now bamba ho send ye. Men yene ho. And na ye ye interior decoration. So as if you na we. And na ye si ufi na ma ono. Ye sign decoration. You be si si ufi. And now office or edi ama. And we just want to fill ye bi. Now we go and fast install it. And now the settings. You be ye edi ama. I walk in now. Ube huye. We me of front enter. Edi we ni ache do doa. Ube huye. I walk ashi. Ye ni emali pharmacy. And we the same building. For information or WhatsApp. Four zero one seven five seven zero three zero zero and a plus four zero one six nine nine two two five four. Pro Technologies. We have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices.